Some pretty incredible breaking news coming out in the past 48 hours. Updates coming out actually the past 24 hours today. As we've received word headlines coming out like this, Iran issues a threat to Israel and the U.S. with a new hypersonic weapon. Now, this hypersonic missile is claimed to have the capacity to bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems that Israel and the United States have at this current time. Another article coming out that says Iran announces the development of a new hypersonic weapon and a new one coming out as well today. Iran unveils hypersonic missile, urges Muslim states to sever their ties with Israel uh, and also allies, which is the United States. So I'm going to be sharing this with you. And this just came out, as I mentioned today, in the past couple of hours. Now, I said 48 and 24. I misspoke. This actually has come out in the past uh, five hours. Some of these articles coming out today in just, yeah, actually, this one article updated in the past 26 minutes as they're giving more information about what was released. And they're saying that these hypersonic missiles they have the ability to bypass any anti-ballistic missile system that currently Israel or the United States has. Now, I'm going to give you more information on this, and this is also coming out as we're also hearing um, that Israel, the IDF, is now releasing information proving that there actually was Hamas facilities, weapons stored at the hospitals that they were approaching, and they have the underground tunnels that they're discovering. And in addition to that, video footage released uh, in the past 24 hours of the hostages actually being held in the hospitals that they were trying to recover. So this is intensifying things. And now Iran coming out and introducing these hypersonic weapons, sort of issuing a bit of a threat to the United States and to Israel. Now, all of these are linked in the description below. As you know, I cite all the sources. I give you the latest info. And I'm surprised to see how little coverage there is of the United States as to what's going on right now with Iran as they have issued these threats. Now. Uh, before I dive in too much further, do me a quick favor. Can you hear me and see me okay? Let me know in the comments. Um, I see there are quite a few comments on saying hello, hi, but can you see me and hear me okay? Is everything coming across well? I just want to make sure before I dive into the articles too far. Yes, people are saying hit the like button. Yes, thank you so much. If you appreciate the live updates, and this is breaking news. This just came out today uh, about this new missile that they're saying that we don't have the defense capabilities to stop if you appreciate these updates, even though I know it's not what people like to hear, um, but you need to know what's going on, do me a favor, smash the like button. Wow, we've got 930 people on live with me, 269 likes, over 1,000 people. Can I get 300 people that appreciate the updates to hit the like button, get that up over 500? I would appreciate it a ton. Thank you so much. And like I said, uh, if this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. You'll be notified as soon as updates come out. In addition to that, if you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and hit the join button, become a member. And then all of these articles that I'm citing for you, some of these coming out from various sources, but confirming all the same thing, because there's not a whole lot of reporting on this in the United States just quite yet of these missiles that are being released by Iran today. Uh, and they've released hypersonic weapons in the past, but these are new ones that they're saying that are more advanced that are pretty much unstoppable uh, for our current defense systems, they're saying. Uh, and so, like I said, all of these will be linked in the description, but if you become a member, they'll pop up in your feed. I'll add them to the feed so all members can see all the sources, but if not, no worries. I cite everything for you so you can see it's the latest. Um, wow, we've got 1,095 people in the room. Oh, just two more people could hit the like button. We could get over 500. I would appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see here. And we've got people saying they're ready. Uh, people are saying they can see me and hear me. Okay. Love the channel. Subscribe and love it says Jessica. Thank you so much. Somebody else saying who cares? Well, uh, a lot of people care. This is uh, stuff that we need to stay up to date on and know exactly what's taking place. So let me share with you some of these articles. So that way you can hear what is coming out today in uh, global news with more potential threats. And they are telling other nations to sever ties with Israel and the U S now uh, so this is some pretty big updates. Iran issues a threat to the U.S. and to Israel with a new hypersonic weapon. And this hypersonic missile is claimed to have the capacity to bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems the United States and Israel currently has. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard, the Corps, the Aerospace Force today unveiled the Fatah 2. It is a hypersonic missile claimed to have the capacity to bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems of the United States and Israel, According to Reuters, the missile developed within Iran 
uh, in spite of numerous sanctions from the West, has supposed ranges of 1,400 kilometers or 870 miles. So they're saying, even though there's sanctions, Iran is saying, so what? And they've been developing this. Now, this is building on, as I mentioned, what they've already developed. They had a first version, the Fata 2, which was unveiled in June of this year. But the newer version contains a hypersonic glide vehicle or a HGV warhead that supposedly supports the weapon reaching maximum speeds, according to Iranian news reports. Now, the source reported that the updated missile can reach speeds of Mach 5 to Mach 20. Uh, the weapon was unveiled by Iran's supreme leader today at the Ashura Aerospace Science and Technology University, according to the latest news uh, in Iran. Now, in addition to that, Iran announces development of a new hypersonic weapon. This just coming out in the past 30 minutes. For the first time, the new hypersonic missile was unveiled during the visit of the commander-in-chief of the armed forces to the latest achievements of the IRGC Aerospace Force on Sunday today. Fata 2 was revealed to be equipped with a hypersonic glide vehicle or a HGV warhead, enabling agile maneuvers and extraordinary hypersonic velocities, as reported by the Iranian news agencies. The unveiling followed Iran's earlier introduction back in June. So this is repeating some of the same stuff. This one just coming out, though, in the past 30 minutes. And here's another one that is giving a little bit more information. Uh, this came out. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't give a timestamp, but it says it came out today as well. Iran unveils a hypersonic missile and urges Muslim states to sever Israeli ties Today, Iran on Sunday unveiled its latest hypersonic missile named Fatah 2. State media reported that the Supreme Leader uh, called on Muslim countries to sever ties with Israel in response to what's taking place with the Gaza war right now. So, uh, you know, we've heard that as this drags on, Iran has warned the United States, you will not be spared from our fire. You will be hit hard. And now we've seen them unveil this new uh, hypersonic missile named the Fatah 2. And they're warning other Muslim nations right now, break all ties. Um, they oversaw the unveiling during an inspection of the missiles and drones belonging to the aerospace unit in the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps today. Fatah 2 has been described by state media as a hypersonic missile with the glide cut capability uh, falling into HGV's hypersonic weapon categories. Now, the announcement following Iran's introduction of its domestically produced hypersonic missile Fatah uh, that was unveiled in June. So the first version was unveiled in June. This newer version, they're saying, can bypass our current defensive capabilities. Um, during the event, countries were told to sever their political ties with Israel. Islamic governments should cut off their political relationships with the Zionist regime, uh, they said in a statement. He also uh, said that Muslim countries should, ex listen to this, obstruct the flow of energy and goods to Israel. So they're saying stop goods, stop energy, uh, stop the flow. Uh, so they're warning them, now is the time to stop that. Earlier this month, the countries were told to sever economic ties with Israel as well and called for them to block oil and food exports uh, as well. Israel has vowed to destroy the Palestinian militant group Hamas, which governs Gaza in retaliation for its October 7th attacks. Israeli officials say the attacks uh, ended 1,200 people's lives, mostly civilians, and around 240 people were taken hostage. And today, as I mentioned, we've received more video footage that those hostages were actually taken to various hospitals in Gaza, and they were taken to underground facilities as well. Is Israel's air and ground campaign has ended the lives of estimated 12,000 people in Gaza, including 5,000 children, according to the health ministry in the Palestinian territory. Iran, a key source of financial and military support for Hamas. So Iran, just to clarify, they have openly said that they fund and support Hamas. Um, but they say that Hamas makes its own decisions. But they said that Israel needs to stop their movement forward into Gaza. And if they do not, that Israel and the U.S. will not be spared. And now we're seeing more and more threats uh, more flexes of their military forces as to what could happen. They praised the October 7th Hamas attack while denying any involvement in the planning or execution. So Iran is saying that they support what Hamas had done. Israel has long accused Iran of exasperating violence by supplying arms to Hamas. 
Tehran refuses to recognize Israel and has made support for the Palestinian cause a fundamental component of its foreign policy since the Islamic Revolution back in 1979. Iran and Israel have for years engaged uh, in a in a covert uh, engaged in a covert conflict with Iran, accusing Israel of orchestrating sabotage attacks uh, and other attacks targeting its nuclear programs as well. So. Uh, some pretty intense stuff. Now, I also already shared with you guys, wow, we have got 1,966 people in the room, 895 likes. If you guys appreciate these breaking news updates, can you do me a favor, smash the like button? Can I get 105 people that have not yet hit the like button that appreciate the updates to do so? Get that up over 1,000. I would appreciate it. And again, this just came out today. I have not seen a lot of uh, U.S. sources coming out on this. Uh, there's a lot of other sources from other... Uh, news stations from around the world that are a part of this major announcement. And they're saying that this can bypass U.S. Um, U.S. defenses. Now, let me know your thoughts on this. Why is it that the United States is not reporting on this right now? I'm very curious. This has been out for several hours now, uh, and it's breaking news globally, but not in the U.S. Uh, put a one if you think that um, they just don't care. They're more concerned with other things going on. Or put a two if you think that... Um, Maybe they don't want us to know. Maybe they don't want us to know that a new missile has been introduced uh, by Iran and uh, they're concerned uh, about the fact that a lot of sources are saying that we are defenseless against this. Okay, I'm seeing several twos. I'm seeing some ones as well. Uh, wow, a lot of twos. A lot of people are saying maybe they want to keep this under wraps. They don't want us to know. Some people are saying one. Oh, someone's saying that they actually probably just don't care. Um very interesting. Let me know your thoughts. I'm seeing a lot of twos. Uh, yeah, saying that they don't want us to know the fact that we potentially could be looking at a missile here, a hypersonic missile. They're saying that could go at Mach levels of five to I think it was uh, 20 that we wouldn't be able to stop at this point. Um, yeah. And somebody's mentioning uh, some other types of uh, weapons that I've covered before. And uh, if you missed them, check them out on my videos. We've talked about how if there was a fallout, it would be disastrous. Um, it essentially would be the end of mankind as we know it. Probably about 99% would not make it. And the first, first impacts that would take place if the United States and Russia started to pop off would essentially vaporize people within a certain radius. I can't remember if it's half a mile or a mile. The, the, the weaponry they have now, though, is, is significantly... Uh, more powerful. And then also, if you're in, within a certain couple miles of radius as well, you're essentially going to be blinded. Um, and then after that, uh, anybody that does survive, they're saying what comes afterwards, you're you're going to wish that you were vaporized because what will unfold over the course of the next uh, 100 days is going to be not good. Now, let us pray. Um, do me a favor, put a one if you're a praying individual. If you're a praying individual, put a one. If you're not, and uh, but you're just here for the news, put a two. But I would like to ask all of those of you that might put a one right now that are praying individuals to pray for our nation, pray for our world, um, and pray for what's going on with the conflict in the Middle East. Because I personally believe that um, prayer works, and I believe that we should be doing that right now because this stuff is intense. And one of the things that I find troubling is the fact that uh, it's not being reported. Uh, it just is very, very... Um, disappointing to me uh, to kind of get this feeling that only certain things are being reported, not everything, if it doesn't align with the particular agenda or thoughts that are wanting to be portrayed. And I think that knowledge is power. Uh, I say that on almost all my videos, and we need to know what's going on so that way we can prepare. Um, as we saw from the FBI, they said there could be potential cyber attacks here in the United States. They believe that there are sleeper cells here waiting to orchestrate a coordinated attack simultaneously in various cities around the nation. And these cyber attacks would attack our infrastructure, such as our water systems, our electrical grids. Um, they could be disastrous. And people need to know about this. We should not be in the dark, because if that is in fact the case, um, I would like to spread the word to everybody that we can to let them make whatever preparations they feel are necessary for themselves, themselves and their families at this time. Uh, I don't think we should be digging our, our heads in the sand, so to speak. We should be aware and be uh, knowledgeable of what's taking place and make the preparations that we see fit for us and our families. 
Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I see we've got quite a few, tw 2,200 people in, in the live with me right now. So glad you guys are joining me this Sunday evening. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. I need three more people to get 1,300 likes. That would be awesome. And all it does really is when you do that, it just shares this out more. It spreads it out on YouTube, um, and it just tells more people that, hey, there's people watching. They like it. Let's share it out and spread the word so that way people can see what's going on. And again, I don't know why this is not being shared on uh, United States uh, media outlets, but I'm seeing it globally right now for different outlets where they're saying, hey, this was introduced today, and this is a big deal. Iran unveiling this um, or Iran or whatever. Sorry, some of the I know that some people have been getting on me about my pronunciation lately uh, on some of the words. I've got to work on it. Um, but uh, big, big deal here. And like I said, check out some of the other stuff as well uh, on my channel regarding more information, more detailed information about what we could potentially see unfold here. Um, I see Claudia saying, be rapture ready. Claudia, if you guys want to check out stuff about biblical information, about what's going on and all that stuff, I saw a lot of ones for people that are prayer individuals, believers. You might want to check out uh, my, my pastor's channel on Thanksgiving Day this week. He's going to be releasing updates on that stuff, explaining uh, what the Bible has to say about uh, end time prophetic word, um, what could happen with war, what the Bible says, what is anticipated going into 2024, 2025, um, some of the things that uh, they're praying about, potential prophecy, if you're into that. Um, let me know if, if you are, are not signed up and you would like to sign up for that channel, it's totally free. Uh, put a one and or no, put a three. Put a three if you'd like to know, and then I can just go ahead and put it in there. But if not, then don't put any comments. I won't put I won't uh, add it in there for you guys. Um, and again, I never try to press my beliefs upon anybody. I just try to share. Okay, I see a lot of threes. Okay, I will add that in there for you guys. And again, also too, for those of you that um, are interested for these articles, I've got three different ones from three different nations that have come out. Uh, they're all in the description, so you can check them out for yourself. Um, okay, let me go ahead and add this for you guys really quick. His page is at Jason Cisco Official Page. Uh, 8423, but I'm just going to pin it for you guys right now, so that way you can go ahead and subscribe, and he said that his first video is going to be coming out, oh, his first video is going to be coming out on Thanksgiving Day, and he will do a much better job of explaining all of that stuff than I will, um, but like I said, go ahead and check that out, uh, and hopefully it's a blessing to you. Um, he's just going to be giving some insight into some of the things that are going on. Uh, let's see here. Go watch Doug Batchelor, a pinnacle of prophecy. I know there's a lot of prophets out there. Somebody is saying, uh, G. Ellis is saying this is fear, fear. G. Ellis, please don't spam. Um, and yet I don't want anybody to be afraid, but I think it's very important for us to be aware of what's going on. Um, so because of the repeated uh, comments. I saw people saying that um, we should moderate this. I'm going to put this user on a timeout. Uh, all right. Same thing for people that are repeating because people have been letting me know we need to stop like the uh, we need to have like moderation in here. So let's go ahead and put this user on a timeout as well. Wow. Sandy says a ship taken by Yemen today was not good. Yeah, there's been a lot going on and I, I've just been checking up on it. And it's, it's interesting because it's almost like the media is slowing down their pace of, of updates. But at the same time, it kind of feels like, you know what, uh, things are not slowing down. They're actually intensifying. It's getting worse. And today with this, this is a major flex by Iran, letting them know uh, that, hey, we've got a missile that you can't stop if you want to go down this road. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, just pretty crazy. Uh, somebody said no timeout for G. Ellis. Just go ahead and block him. If anybody is being like disruptive in the chats, yes, I'll go ahead and block them because I want this to be an area for people that want to know what's going on, want to know the latest news, to have uh, a source. I cite everything so that way you can go ahead and see it and know exactly what's taking place. Um, let's see here. Uh, somebody's saying they wouldn't broadcast it. Uh, panic control. Yeah, nobody, there's no need for fear or for panic, but we do need to know what's going on. Uh, somebody asks, does your pastor think he is a modern-day prophet? Asks Taco. Uh, yes, 
Yes, uh, I do believe that. I believe in the Bible. I do believe that there are there's still apostles, evangelists, prophets. Some people have a very uh, profound gift of being able to do that in prayer. And yes, I, I do believe that. Um, somebody says, hit the like. Yes, thank you so much. There's 2,300 people. Almost, wow, that jumped really fast. Almost 2,400 people in the room. Do me a favor. Can I get 300 people that have not yet done so to hit the like button? Can we get that up over 2,000? Um, if you appreciate these updates, uh, you should get ready just in case for World War III starting. Uh, still live your lives. Yes, I agree 100%. We need to know what's going on. We need to take precautions for ourselves and our families, but we should not live in fear. Um, we should live in preparation. And also, too, I think part of that preparation is not only physical, but as we mentioned, spiritual. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> if you're a praying individual, I saw there was a lot of ones. Um, then I think that you should go ahead and, and make those preparations, but also physical as well. Um, and as information comes out, I'll be sure to share with you guys. And as I mentioned, some of the stuff uh, that I report on, I've been noticing has not been getting coverage. It's been shocking to me. Uh, I'm not really sure why they, well, I've got an idea as to why they don't cover some of the things that they do that I believe they should. Um, but this today was huge news globally um, about Iran issuing these threats. And actually, I'm looking at pictures of the uh, the FATA, the original hypersonic missile that they released back in June. But now this, this FATA 2 is, uh, they're saying, able to bypass any, uh, what is the terminology that they used? It says, it unveiled today, a hypersonic missile claimed to have the capacity to bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems that the United States or Israel has, according to Reuters. And also this repeated from several different uh, sources as well. So, um, man, this is very, you know, disturbing news, but at the same time, hopefully they can de-escalate things there has been word as well. Now, I haven't looked into it too much, and I've actually heard that there is conflicting information on this. So don't don't take this as official, and I don't, I don't have a source to cite it yet. I want to verify that it's official. But we're hearing that there are potential talks of a ceasefire between Israel and the Gaza Strip that is being orchestrated by the U.S. right now um, in an agreement that it will stop if they release the hostages. However, I've also read other articles coming out saying that this is a farce, that that's not actually happening. Um, so I'm not 100 percent on that. So I don't want to report it as official yet. Uh, but also, too, we've been discovering that some of the hostages, their lives came to an end. They don't even have all the hostages, Hamas. Uh, they actually ended the lives of several of them. They're being found in rubble uh, next to hospitals. And we've actually, as I mentioned, recovered video footage that some of them actually were taken two hospitals. So um, the IDF is saying that they were spot on targeting the hospitals that Hamas actually has been using those facilities as kind of a shield to protect themselves, which is uh, actually very, in my personal opinion, uh, disgusting. Uh, here in the U.S., we use our defenses to protect our people. Uh, over there, their strategy is to use their people to protect their defenses. Um, so it's kind of disgusting, but at the same time, you know, the atrocities that are being committed against uh, against Israel and then now also the threats coming against the United States. You know, uh, I feel like a lot of people on here might agree with me. And it's my personal opinion that, yes, this type of, of people, this, this terrorist group, um, and I'm not talking about, you know, a religion or a culture in general, but these these people committing these atrocities. This needs to come to an end. And if you agree, do me a favor, put a one. Or if you think that I'm off base, go ahead and put a two. And if I'm off, it, we, it's okay. If you think I'm off, that's totally fine. We have the ability to disagree, uh, and that's totally fine. See, I got a couple twos. I've got tons of ones, people agreeing. Um, you know, and I think a lot of the concern is that what they said is, uh, we heard this um, from the FBI. We heard this from... Um, from the family members of hostages. We heard this from others as well saying, listen, United States, don't think that you are, uh, you know, covered. You're next, that they will come for you as well. Uh, World War III comes in many ways. Be safe and informed, says Sandy Fetty. Sandy, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that so much. Um, and yes, I agree. Uh, that is why I do this, to make sure that just people are aware and ready, because I think that that is totally what we should be doing right now. I see a lot of ones 
Uh, yeah. And so I agree. I feel like anybody that's committing these atrocities, uh, it is not right. Um, we need to stop this. Uh, and uh, there will never be peace between these two, says Renee. Renee, I got to say, I, I agree with you um, because of, you know, the, the, the belief systems of the two. Uh, this goes way back. This is not just, um, you know, recent. This is years and years in the making. Uh, let's see here. We are living in the last seven years, says Tammy. Um, Tammy, check out the pinned comment for my pastor's channel. He's going to be covering all that stuff in detail for you. Uh, Corey says, love your videos, brother. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate that. Um, drop a like for everyone. Everyone says Yama. Yeah, thank you, Lama. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, if you guys appreciate the updates, please um, drop some likes. Why do people only have negative comments to say on here? Can't you all be closed minded and negative somewhere else? Says Ms. Tab. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you, Ms. Tab. I appreciate that. And the main point and the purpose of this channel is to keep people updated and I will continue to do so. Heavenly says, love the channel. Thank you so much. Harkness says, Trump. Um, love your channel. Hello, says Jessica Page. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for keeping us up to date, says Alice. You guys are so welcome. And again, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like button, subscribe if this is your first time here. I'll keep you up to date. And again, for all of you that are members, just hit that join button. Thank you for the support. These sources, which I found very few uh, U.S. sources, actually, no, no, no I, I don't think I found any U.S. sources. They will pop up in your subscription feed. So you'll see them. The links will be there. You can click it. It'll open up on your phone or your computer, wherever you're watching. You'll be able to see exactly what I'm looking at. And this all came out in the past 24 hours. Um, but if not, no worries. Uh, I still cite everything. It's in the description for you so you can check it out. Um, but you guys, so that is the latest. Just wanted to let you guys know. Um, somebody said, I watch your stuff all the time. Love your content. Thank you so much. I will keep you guys up to date. Now, in addition to that, I also saw that there was video footage released in the hospitals. And also, uh, man, did you guys see some of the footage that was released um, for stuff that took place two years ago at the White House? Very, very interesting video footage coming out on that. But I wasn't sure if uh, that's something that people wanted to see, if you guys would be interested in that or you prefer to see other updates. Um, there's just so many things going on. Just want to provide the things that are the most applicable and will resonate with people that people want to know and that can prepare them and help them for what's going on. Uh, I'll let you guys know as information rolls out on certain things, though, what to prepare for. Keep you guys up to date on everything. Somebody said, keep the updates rolling. That was Doris Fox. Thank you, Doris. I will. Uh, let's see here. All your info checks out every time that we watch you. Appreciate it, says Renee. You are so welcome. And Renee, I, that's why I try to cite the sources, because... I could say something wrong. I could read something wrong, misinterpret it. So I always try to let you guys know, like, here's where I found it. Here's the sources. Check it out for yourself and let me know if, like, yeah, you know, if it's possible that I misread something. Um, somebody said, boring. How many lies? This is new social media. BR, you can't lie. Uh, not really sure what you're talking about. I'm just reading the sources for you, giving you the latest updates. This is global news coming out and actually wasn't reported much in the U.S., which Kind of makes me feel <laughs> it is legit. Um, but anyways, you guys, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a blessed evening. I'll catch you in the next video. If you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe. And uh, you guys take care. I'll catch you later. God bless. This is Steve.